Hey everyone, welcome to uh, AWNW's Quick Shop Tutorial. Uh, we have abandoned, what was that? I was a villager, okay. We have abandoned a our old plugin, Sign Shop, uh, due to many issues that could take me forever to go over. Uh, and we've decided to go with Quick Shop. Quick Shop's really cool, uh, it's a lot easier. Uh, and I'm hoping it'll improve our economy a little bit. Um, some first things to note about Quick Shop. Uh, I have it set up at the time I'm making this video to where making one Quick Shop will cost you $100 in-game money. So think about that. Make sure you're aware of it. It doesn't prompt you as soon as you make it. It deducts the $100. There's no warning. It doesn't even tell you that it's deducted. It just takes it out. So keep that in mind. Uh, the second thing is when you destroy your Quick Shop, you, uh, whoa, it's in creative mode. There we go. Let's fix that. Um, you do not get that money back. So keep that in mind when you are dealing with setting up your shop. So make sure you set them up properly, etc., etc. Uh, to set up the shop, it's super easy. All you need is a chest and the items you want to sell. Uh, in this case, we've got a few different items. So we'll first put up uh, our, our chest. Now, all you have to do is you do need to be sneaking when you're doing this. All you have to do is basically hit the item on the chest. You're going to left click the chest with the item you want to sell, but you need to do it while sneaking. Uh, some people refer to this as sneaking, crouching, bending over, looking weird, whatever you want to call it. So just uh, hold down shift or however, whatever you have it binded to and smack it. You'll then get uh, prompted. Oops, hang on. Uh, this is my test server and it's all messed up. There we go. You'll get uh, prompted in chat right here. Enter how much you wish to trade one enchanted book for in chat. So uh, in this case, we'll sell this enchanted book for, I don't know, we'll say 500. Boom, there we go. Enchanted book. Now all you got to do is open it up, toss your item in. If you have books with the same enchants, naturally you want to toss them in there too. And you're set up. That's it. You're done. That's how easy it is. So you can see it says right here, quick shop selling enchanted book for $500 each. So all you have to do, <laughs> engine connection problem, oh no, that's because it's the test server, don't worry about that, ignore that error. So now people can walk up, now when you want to buy stuff, all you have to do is crouch and left click, and you'll get prompted with all the info. So we can see right here, uh, this is a enchanted book for $500, it's selling it, and it's got the loot bonus blocks 3, which is uh, looting 3 basically. And you just enter how many you want to buy in chat, so hit buy, bam, just bought it. So I'll put that back in there. Um, now, we also decided that you can create double chest shops, but that is only for veterans and up right now. So this might change over time. For now, we just decided to go ahead and give this feature to veteran rank and higher. And that includes all the donation ranks from $5 to $200, the supporters to elites, basically. Uh, cool thing about the double chest is not only does it increase your stock, because you can just set it up with one, you can actually set up two different items on the one. So if we want to sell, say, uh, our bows, let's uh, go ahead and left click. We want to sell bows for, I don't know, how about, how about uh, 25 since it's not enchanted. It costs $100. Oh, do I not have any money? I have exactly $100 and it doesn't want to take it. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's see, we'll give myself, uh, do, 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 eco, give, oh, that's because I bought the book. Silly me. Eco, give, myself, uh, 10 grand. That works. Okay. So, there we go. I want to sell these for 50 bucks each. Voila. And, you know, why not put some arrows next to it as well? So, same thing. Crouch, punch. Now, arrows and items that you're wanting to sell big purchases of, because arrows, like, one arrow is not very expensive. It's very easy to get one arrow. So... When you're, when you're setting this up, notice I punched it with 64 arrows. You're not entering how much you want to sell 64. You're selling, you're putting in how many you want to set for one. So this is where a little bit of math comes in. Uh, generally, if you know how much you want to sell stack for, you can just divide that amount by 64. Uh, in this case, we'll just set it up to, you know, 10 cents, 0.1, 0 0.10, same thing. Um, and so now it's going to sell one arrow for... 10 cents. So now people can come up, they can, uh, you know, maybe somebody's getting ready, they're new and they want to, well there's none in stock, but we'll put one in here. There we go. And we'll put some arrows in there. So now somebody can come up and they can buy one bow. And then maybe they want to buy, uh, let's see, how many arrows? Let's say they want to buy 64 arrows. You can see there's 128 stock, so it gives them all the info. 
So they can buy 64. There we go. Spent $6.40, and now they're ready to, to go shoot and stuff. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to it. Uh, the other big question is, how do you set up a shop uh, for people to sell things to? Uh, maybe you want to set up a shop to purchase arrows. Well, it's pretty simple. First, you want to place it. You need to set up the shop. Hey, we got a fellow traveler. Hey, buddy, you can get geared up. You know, be on your way. Uh, you want to set up your shop normally. Now, when you're setting up your shop, you're going to want to put in your price to trade for. So you're going to want to put in your price that you want to buy arrows from. So since we're selling them for 10 cents, maybe we'll buy them from people for half that. So now my shop will... Now, it's going to it's gonna start off with selling. Now, there's an easy way to change it. All you have to do is face the face the um, chest and type in slash QS. That stands for Quick Shop. And you'll see I have a lot more options than you guys will have, but you're going to have QS Buy, QS Sell, and QS Price. All you have to do is do QS Buy, and that's going to switch your shop to now purchasing arrows for $0.05 cents each. And that's pretty much it. So now anyone can come up here. I've got 63 arrows on me, so I can uh, I can shift click this. I can see how many arrows it'll let me put in, which is 1,728. And the shop is buying items for five cents each. And it tells you even how many you have in your inventory, which is 63. So I could sell all 63 arrows, and I just earned myself three dollars and fifteen cents. Woot! So ah, more travelers. Yes, yes. Bye, 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 bye. Um, now the other uh, command, which was QS price, uh, where whatever shop you're facing, let's say uh, we have such a high demand right now for these uh, enchanted books that I want to raise it from 500 to... Oh, this is kind of creepy. <laughs> uh, let's increase the price of bows actually here. They're 50 bucks each. Maybe we'll want to change it to 100. You just do QS price 100 and voila! You've now changed the price to 100. It's easy as that. It's whichever one you're facing. Uh, and if you want to close down a shop, maybe uh, maybe someone's selling me way too many arrows and I need to stop, you just break the block. Um, not the sign, I'm sorry, the uh, the actual chest, and that's it. And it'll get a little message saying shop removed, and that is it. It's very simple to set up, very easy to use. Uh, just keep in mind that it is $100 to set up and you do not get it refunded. And that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope it... Uh, uh, <laughs> Maybe you heard Kai in the background there saying woo. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions, just ask. Post on the forums, ask in game, ask the staff. I'm sure they'll all be able to answer as many questions as you need. Uh, unfortunately, stuff like this right here, where there's a little gap, uh, you won't be able to fill in. You know, you can fill it in with just decorations, decorative blocks. Uh, maybe an ender chest will actually fit in there. You can't use ender chest for quick shop though, for obvious reasons. Uh, crafting table you could stick in here. You know, furnace, whatever. You know. Y you use your imagination. We already have some people redoing their shops and they're, they're using very unique methods. You can actually, you know what, I might as well put this in the video real quick. You can, let me uh, find a good way to do it here, real quick way. Uh, here, let me get myself GM mode so I can do this. Grab myself some wood blocks here. You can actually set up a sideways shop. Uh, which is pretty nifty. So let's say you want to save some storage space and you're setting up shops that are uh, double chests. It's pretty nifty, but you could do something like this. We'll just do it like this for the sake of showing. You can place two chests down. Let's say we want to sell the sword. Oops. Or we'll just destroy the chest because, you know, I'm in GM mode like a noob. There we go. Sell sword for five grand because you know, it's my sword. There we go, and it'll actually put the sign on the side, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, lots of different things you can do. So just use your imagination, do things how you like. You uh, you can place blocks over this, but what'll happen is that little guy is going to fall off, and a little uh, display model, if you will, and it looks kind of weird, so I usually recommend just leaving that spot open. You can use half slabs, as um, as I've been shown, so you could just do that. And the item should, I think, still float above it, if I'm correct. So, get back up there. Get back up there. No, it's not going to go back up there. It'll go back up eventually. Uh, probably after leaving and coming back. So that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below the video. It would be really easy for me to answer. And if this is too short or not informative enough, there it goes. 
I will make a new video, but this is just to get everything going. So have a good time, guys. Enjoy, and have fun.